back, YouTube. It's Willie here with Spaceman Aquatics coming to you live from the kitchen. Today's video is going to be about betas. We're going to talk about my beta here, Mephisto. I'm going to give you a couple facts and some helpful tips to help you keep a beta for as long as you possibly can. Before we get into the video, please like, comment, share the video, subscribe so we can grow this channel. Without any further ado, let's begin. So, like I stated, today's video is going to be about my beta here. His name is Mephisto. He is a red crown tail beta. Red crown tail beta. Betas actually come in a variety of colors, a variety of fin shapes. Um, depending on the color and fin shape, may vary the cost. But other than that, they're generally about four to five bucks at a local pet store. In order to keep a beta, you generally need something about. I would say an aquarium of no less than 2.5 gallons. You definitely want some sort of filtration. All fish need some filtration. Betas also like a heavily planted tank. They are from Southeast Asia, Thailand to be exact. And that's actually where they get their other name, the Siamese fighting fish. With that being said, betas do not like tank mates. I wouldn't suggest a tank mate with a beta unless you're an experienced hobbyist. And I wouldn't suggest having a tank mate with a beta in a tank under 10 gallons. Betas do like their aquariums to be fairly warm. So you're looking at a very high 70s, low 80s. Again, they are from Southeast Asia. The water parameters are usually 6.5 to neutral. Uh, that's actually exactly where my beta tank is. It's about 6.5. As far as maintenance go and upkeep, you probably want to do a water change. Uh, roughly about 50 gallon or 50 percent sorry uh, every week once a week if you're bold enough to not have a filter on your tank or bowl you probably want to think about doing a water change multiple times a week and definitely have some live plants in there to help with the uh, water parameters the neat fact about betas is that they can live up to about 10 years Unfortunately, in, in captivity, they only live an average of about two to four years. Betas are also a member of fish called lungfish that actually have a labyrinth or a labyrinth fish that have a labyrinth organ that allows them to breathe air. So you may see a beta gulp, uh, gulp air at the top of the water, at the top of the tank here and there from time to time, and that is very normal behavior. So enough about other betas, let's talk about my beta here. My beta Mephisto is in a 5.5 gallon aquarium. As you can see, it's very heavily planted. The plants that we have in this tank are Rotala Indica Red. We have some like Winky Ribbons. We also have some Anubius Az Azel Azeli. That's the, uh, the Anubius right there in the center. We also have all around the tank a number of Cryptocorny species and we have some floating plants we have some frog bit and a little bit of water lettuce floating at the top normally betas actually like a tinted tank so if you're um, using botanicals um, they actually like the tinted look to the tank it actually helps with their uh, water with their biology so it's actually something that is very beneficial um, if you are into that look at I highly suggest you keep your water tannins in the tank using botanicals, your betas actually will benefit uh, greatly from that. With that being said, I just want to go over a quick things with my beta here, my beta tank. I do want to go ahead and state that the pH is normally 6.5. The last time I tested, all the nitrates are zero, ammonia was zero, nitrites were all zero, so very ideal water parameters. My light schedule is from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's about nine hours. And when I feed my beta, I feed him a variety of food, tea kits, frozen bloodworms, frozen brine shrimp. Uh, he also gets some uh, freeze-dried shrimp and the bug bites beta formula. So with that being said, I do suggest when you have any fish, having a variety of diet, it definitely helps with their coloration, it helps keep them healthy. But also, please, and I stress this, please do not overfeed your fish. And if, if you've ever seen that at pet stores or if you've ever experienced this yourself with other fish, that's when your fish, uh, they tend to 
get a bloated abdomen and they have a hard time swimming, that means their swim bladder is inflamed. Um, with that being said, there are a number of home remedies that you can do to prevent this issue or to help ease the pain once they do have the swim bladder bloat. But my suggestion is just, just to keep the water as clean as possible, uh, regularly add aquarium salts, and don't overfeed your, your fish. With that being said, that's just a quick video on today. This is Willie with Spaceman Aquatics. I've done enough talking.